What's up guys, Stephen here, one, two, and two, and it's list day. Ah, yes, list day. And today we are looking at the top 10 worst dragon monsters in the game of Yugi Mans. I'm honestly surprised I haven't done a worst of each type in the game yet. And if I did, it doesn't matter. We had a lot of cards come out since I would have done that, so sure. So without further ado, let's look at some bad dragons. Oh. Ah, crap. Number 10 is Photon Wyvern. Level 7, Light Dragon Monster. 2500 attack, 2000 defense with the following effect. When this card is normal or flip summoned... <laughs> you know what? I, I, you shouldn't make fun of a card for giving you more options, even if that option will truly never happen. It is cool, I suppose, that it is normal or flip summon. You know, just... For the one time in a million duels where you tribute set this thing for some reason. Destroy all set cards your opponent controls. Ah. Okay, so um, it can't be special summoned to get its effect off. That's uh, pretty booty. And it's in photons, which special summons monsters to make XC monsters. So it's a bit strange that it doesn't trigger on a special summon. You know, like what the deck is trying to do. It's also a level 7 in a deck that makes rank 8s. Uh, let that one sink in. <laughs> Not only that, it only blows up opponent's set cards. So unless you've uh, mass book of moon things or you're just trying to ex destroy their back row, uh, this will probably often not have a very good advantage swing considering the fact you had a sack two for it. Not to mention it's an effect on a tribute summon. So um, if your opponent does have a lot of back row, I imagine they would have thrown it all at you already or used said back row to like, I don't know, solemn strike this or whatever and it doesn't even get its effect off anyway because they have a lot of set cards one of them will probably stop this thing from resolving it just screams like early boss monster support like when the deck first came out and they're just going to give you this thing as like the intended like ultimate whatever it's uh it's not good Number 9, Diablos, King of the Abyss. Not to be confused with Darkest Diablos, which is actually good. Level 7, Dark Dragon. They're all dragons, though. Do I have to say that? <laughs> Amanda wrote Dark Pokemon on here. Eh, thanks, babe. This Pokemon has 2,800 attack and uh, 1,000 defense. That's a huge base stat total. <laughs> It's big number. Cannot be special summoned. Wow, that's a, that's a clause. If you tribute summon this card, ah... Uh, here we go. The tributes must be dark. That is a weirdly restrictive tribute summon requirement. But it cannot be tributed by card effects will face upon the field, just in case uh, your opponent has cards that do that. Good in the mirror match? <laughs> Tripping an opponent's card is actually pretty rare in Yu-Gi-Oh. This thing is a, the perfect defense against exactly Nibiru, and that is literally it. Kaijus don't tribute by effect, so it, it is truly slim pickings what this thing can defend itself against. That's, uh... Could you imagine, like, tribute summoning this thing, your opponent tried to Nibiru it? <laughs> Like, that's somehow your fifth summon. <laughs> what board state is this? But it does also have another effect. Once per turn, during your opponent's draw phase, before they draw their card for turn. So this is like uber at the start of a turn. Before the turn is like even officially started, you can look at the top card of their deck and, and then and then place it on the bottom of your of their deck if you want to. So if you're like, nah, they're drawing out to my Diablos. Better bottom deck it. <laughs> Um, it might be a fun tech in the fictional format where the Layer of Darkness deck is tier 1. <laughs> that is its truly only function. That's really cheesy. Divine Dragon Exelon is 8. It is a level 5 dragon. 1500, 1900 attack defense spread. What is this? A Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon card? When this is normal summoned, here we go. This card gets one of the following effects for every copy of itself in your graveyard. When this effect resolves. These effects cannot accumulate? What? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Who wrote this? Jerome? Ah, yes! The good old problem causing card text! My favorite! The first effect that you can not accumulate, but you can certainly get, increase the thing's attack by a thousand points. Man, you really can't take this effect three, uh, twice? Then it's a big shame. It's not even three times, it can only be at most two. If this thing destroys a monster by battle, it can attack again. When this thing destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can do burn damage equal to that monster's attack. And that's it. I read that with emphasis as if there was a fourth one. <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying to pick together the wording of this card. I I could re-record this entry so Ryan has an easier time editing it. Or, or I can make his life harder for him. <laughs> 
Okay, so I think what it's trying to tell me is I can only pick one of these each. Like, I can increase its attack and also get the double attack. I think that's what it's trying to tell me. Although, if you also told me that this effects cannot accumulate, is also trying to tell you that if you use the destroys a guy, it can attack again. It can't then destroy the second guy and attack for a third time. That also could be what it's talking about. A few moments later. You know what? Comments below. I I, I really don't want to destroy my setup so I can pull up a, a rulings on this. <laughs> Number seven. Oh god, it's gonna be a rough one. Vorticler Drumgen. Drumgen. Dark Dragon Link Three Monster. Here we go. One thousand attack. That's <sighs> that isn't good. Mid three Dark Dragon Monsters. So you can't really even Link climb into it. Uh, what's it do? If this card is special summon, draw a card. Neat! And it's a special summon, so if you resurrect it from the graveyard, you can draw another card. That's pretty cute. Probably uh, its actual function. But you can only use this effect once per turn, so you, you can't, like, play it, link it off, play it again, and then draw two. You can't do that. You, you have to wait a turn, so it's not great. If this effect resolves, oh no! The unused monster zones this thing points to cannot be used for the rest of the turn. Ah, so it's a Link 3 monster that doesn't open you more Link zones. <laughs> Now what's the point? To draw one card? Ah yes! Minus one drumgun. Minus one gun. He's embarrassing. Ah, it wouldn't be a list of bad dragons. I gotta stop saying that. Without a Gemini monster, right? There's gonna be at least one of these on every one of this series, cause Geminis are bad. Now before you say, but Catalyst Field Dave, yes. A very good field spell that takes a very bad type of card and makes it okay. That doesn't make the Geminis good, that just makes Catalyst Field good. <laughs> so for a Gemini monster to be worth it, it has to have an extremely good Gemini effect to uh, be worth blowing two summons on. Does Darkstorm Dragon have said effect? <sighs> if you normal summon this thing while well, it is a normal monster on the field, you know, to become an effect monster, it gets this effect. Once per turn, you can send one spell or trap you control to the graveyard. Destroy all spell or traps on the field. Ah, nice. I can send my Catalyst Field to the graveyard to blow up my opponent's back row. <laughs> At least Catalyst Field lets you put this thing on the board uh, for no tributes. That's a plus, because it is a little late. All for an ignition effect you could have gotten with Lightning Storm or Heavy Storm. That's banned. Feather Duster is the card I'm searching for. Overall, it's just, um, it's just very slow. Number five, Baby Trigon. Rank one Earth Dragon XC monster. 900 attack, 900 defense. Made of three level one monsters. Wow, that's a waste of resources. During your main phase, you can detach one material from this card, target one of your face up level one monsters. It can attack directly this turn. Now if this was like target rank ones and or level ones, maybe we would have something here. You could play this and then play another uh, rank one XC monster, and maybe there'd be some cheese you can do with, like, the Laralusks or something, and this would be okay, but the fact that it's only level one monsters means you are bestowing one of your Link Material main deck monsters with the ability to attack directly for presumably very little damage because it's level one. Now, there might be some cheesy targets for this. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but they're, like, you know, kind of like the Gemini Elf a uh, tune thing where like when it hits for damage it makes you like lose a card or something. There might be a level one that does something like this, so there, there's certainly a function for it, but it is a straight minus two for a card effect that is at best okay when comboed with a fourth card. That's um, that isn't good. <laughs> that is really <laughs> very not good. It is pretty cute though, that's a plus. Number four, Flamebolt Dragon of level two Fire Dragon, 1100 attack, 200 defense. What do? If this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Period. Oof. Okay, so a destroyed by battle burn effect for only 500 damage is both simultaneously one of the worst effects you can possibly have in a card, and also one of the funniest effects you can have when it gets called time in the round. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess. There's always that one. It also has this other stupid effect that says, you can banish this card from your graveyard, you know, like, because it got killed by battle, presumably. And one face of fire monster you control, ugh. Add one flame bolt dragon off from your deck to your hand, so you can search another copy by going, 
uh, by going even with a monster on your field. Banishing one of your face-up monsters is not a particularly good cost to search a card, especially when it's not an effect of that monster itself, a la, like, Butuniful Princess, where that's just how the card works. Therefore, you're not also having to use another card to lose a resource. This is... Uh, it's all in one package. This is uh, clunky, but it might be the single stupidest way of triggering Blaster <laughs> I've ever read. So that's that's a plus. I wonder if Flamevels actually have an intended target for this. I don't know the deck well enough in order to be able to make that kind of assertion, but I wonder if they have like a face-up card that wants to get banished. That would at least be cute, right? Three, Trigun. Not Trigun. That's an anime. Not the Triforce. That's from Zelda. And not Try Hard. Like... <laughs> Like this joke. <laughs> Why you me? I'm right. Okay, so as a union monster, once per turn during your main phase, you can equip this thing to a face up machine type monster that you have as an equip spell or special summon it in attack mode by unequipping it from said machine type monster. While equipped to a monster by this effect, if that said equipped monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can special summon one light machine monster from your graveyard. What is neat about this card? Based on a Konami shmup, probably called Trigun. <laughs> this is the dragon weapon for one of the arcade ships, if I am not mistaken. I vaguely remember reading this somewhere. It's not in my script. I, I think I just know this. But what's not interesting about this card is that uh, it, it's just a very underwhelming uh, uh, a union monster. But why is the effect bad? Um, you don't really want to force all of your monster's effects to into the battle phase in general. A battle phase deck, like people call it, like War Rocks or whatever, are often uh, a suboptimal strategy because that means you need to slug through your main phase to get to your battle phase before you can get any of your effects to do anything, which gives your opponent an entire free phase to just throw effects at you that you really can't respond to because it's not the battle phase uh, to get you to not even be able to enter the battle phase with a monster that can then proceed to attack. It's a it's an inherent flaw of battle phase based strategies. The same exact reason why battle traps aren't very good because they don't do anything until a phase when which they might already have been destroyed. So if you're going to do that, you better have a really, really bomb effect and getting one dude out of your graveyard while a pretty good effect would have been really super awesome to be able to do in your main phase one. Number two, a card I can't pronounce. Yormungardr. Yormungardr. The Nordic Spirit. The Nordic serp Serpent. The word that's a real word. I can't even say that one too. <laughs> Level 8 Dark Dragon. 3,000 attack, 3,000 defense. What do? Cannot be normal summoner set. Ooh, okay. Normally these are pretty good. If there's an Aesir monster on the field, you can special this card from your hand to your opponent's side of the field in defense position. Okay. If an Aesir monster is not on the field, destroy this card. Okay. If this face-up defense position monster is switched to its attack position, you take 3,000 damage. But because it is probably on your opponent's side of the field, you take 3k is referring to your opponent because you gave it to them and it's got 3k attacks. They're like, ooh, I want to abuse the beater you gave me. So they turn it to attack position and then they get burn damage. Strategy. This card can only be used uh, once while it's face up in the field, so you can't even do a cheesy burn loop where you keep, like, changing its battle position like it's some sort of strange <laughs> clown <laughs> control. <laughs> Why is this bad? Well, 3k uh, is not enough to kill your opponent. If it was 8,000 damage, we might have uh, something We might have something here. There'd be an OTK where you could give it to your opponent, and then an A-series would actually have a way to win the game, which uh, is better than they are now. <laughs> It got him. Giving your opponent a free resource on a good day is bad. Giving them a free resource that's a level eight dark dragon is uh, also extra bad. Don't give your opponent free stuff. I can't believe I need to say that. All right, dishonorable mansions. Um, uh, these could have been like the entire list, but they all are also stupid and boring. So we just kind of lumped them into dishonorable mansions. We're talking about the, the anime dragons. Uh, Blue Eyes Shining, Dark Red Eyes Darkness, Manga Ruran, uh, Dragon Master Knight, uh, I don't know, half the old school fusions. There's tons of dragons in Yu-Gi-Oh! By that law of averages, there's also a lot of bad dragons. Stop saying bad dragons, Dave. <laughs> 
because dragons are cool and kids like dragons. So we, sh we shoved a bunch of dragons into the anime. Um, phrasing? They don't do anything. They're just hard to summon for a giant beat stick or what they do do. Phrasing first, boom! Is so underwhelming that uh, they might as well be a beat stick and they are also hard to summon. However, that wouldn't make a particularly entertaining list. So uh, all those guys can just be kind of shoved here. They're all terrible, but they're also not very funny. All right, number one's your boy. Duel Link Dragon, the Duel Dragon. Aw, oh, man, I feel so bad for this car. We keep dumping on this guy. Dark Dragon Link 4, zero attack. Made of two plus monsters, including a synchro monster. As I have said before, it is a Link 4. So at least at a base level, it required four materials. But nah, one of those is a synchro monster, which probably required two. So now it's kind of like it probably made five resources into one guy with zero attack. This thing better be unfreaking stoppable in order for you to dump that level of crap into it. And what does it do? As a quick effect, once per turn, you can banish one power tool monster or one level seven or eight dragon synchro monster from your extra deck to special summon a token with the same stats as the thing you banished. You can only use this effect once per turn. And while you'll control said dragon link token, Dual dragon token? It's called a dual dragon token. Your opponent cannot target this thing for attacks, and your opponent cannot target this thing with effects. It has a lot of inherent protection. However, it doesn't protect the token. The token doesn't do anything. At best, it's a weird resource you can use to extend more, but summoning this thing is a misplay. That's hard to explain if you haven't played it. I did a whole stream where we tried making this guy. Every single time uh, we would attempt to make the damn thing, Ryan would be like, I can make it, but I could have just made something that would have won me the game instead. <laughs> You ready for the misplay? Oh yeah, I'm ready for the misplay. Uh... But here it is, opponent. We have successfully summoned have a success dual with dragon. There token. we go. We ended the stream <laughs> with the combo. So it's like it's it's useless because its its effect is while okay, uh, underwhelming. This card is useless. And because it requires so many resources to make, it's just not good. All right, guys, that was the list. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to be going on a trip soon, so you might not hear from me too much in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so that is going to waylay some content, but I, I, I gave this to Ryan for him to edit, so you guys at least get to see my beautiful visage at least once in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> anyway, guys... Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, and remember, if you don't troll them out of well, I'll see you guys next time.